Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own node that will keep track of world time and date. So if I hit play here, you guys can see we're at January 1st, 2019 at 12 a.m. And if I hit X, we can actually speed up the time. If I hit X again, you'll see that we can transition into military time here, which removes the a.m. p.m. designation. And if we get all the way up to something afternoon and I hit that button again you'll see we're at 1535 and now if I hit the Y key this will actually take us to a new level so this pauses the timer saves the date and you'll see we open up a new level and we start off at the exact same time that we were in the previous level so just a little bit more about the node this is the node that I'm going to be showing you guys how to create right here has a little option for military time. The rate that you set, one means one second. So if this is at one, it's one to one. If you put this at like 5,000, that means 5,000 seconds will go by in one second of real time. And it takes in one custom struct here, which has seconds, minutes, hours, days, and an enum for the month here and the year. And this all is wrapped up into one little component I called Earth Time. And if I get rid of this here, and we open this up, we can set a different start date, for example, February. And we'll put in the 31st. So this is clearly an incorrect date, but you guys will see that this does um, adjust for that and it will uh, respect leap years so right now we're in a leap year this would be 2000 so if we hit play you'll see it starts at February 29th but if we change the year to say 1999 which would not be a leap year you'll see that we'll start on the 28th instead all right, so we can close this back up, hook this up here. And some other functions that you guys will have access to, um, obviously all of the variables. So for user interface type data that you want, this will be the clock and this will be the date. And that's what we've been printing out on tick here. You also have a pause and an unpause function and a function to change the time. So if you want it to go faster or slower, you want to change between military and standard, you can do that. Uh, you can clear the timer here, and this function here will save the date. So this will output the same type of custom struct that you have. So you can just save this um, however you guys are saving your other variables, and pull this back out when you need it, and just input it right into this function here. All right, so let's hop into a clean project. And I will show you guys how to create this. So we'll right click here, and we'll create a new C++ class. Go down to Actor Component, hit Next. And we'll call this Earth Time. And we'll hit Create Class. And we will wait for Visual Studio to compile. Okay, now that Visual Studio has compiled, we'll start in our header file here, earthtime.h. And we're going to grab this class right here, class add code API. This will be the name of your project and whatever you named your actor component. So hit control X. And we're going to put this up here at the top. And then we're going to come here into the code. We're going to start at the top, and we're just going to copy everything right down here until this last curly brace and above this dashed line here. We'll hit Control C. We'll go back into Visual Studio. Make sure you don't overwrite that first line. And we'll just hit Control V. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take this class here. Control X, get rid of some of this space, and we'll scroll down 
and we're going to replace this line that says class code test API. So we'll just hit Control V here, and it should now say class um, whatever the name of your project is API, and then whatever you named your component. We'll now go into the C++ file here, and we're going to grab all of the code below this line now. Control C. And we can just Control A, Control V. Now, if you didn't name uh, your component Earth Time, you will have to go in and change all of these um, teal Earth Time things here um, to whatever you guys named your actor component which if you go into the header file here, you'll be able to find it right here. So you'll just have to copy that and paste it everywhere you see these. And you'll also have to make sure that your header file, the include earthtime.h, is whatever you guys called your actor component. So now we're going to hit build solution right here. And we will wait a little bit. Okay, now that we've finished building, you guys should see build one succeeded right here. Um, if you have one failed, you messed up something in the copy paste, you accidentally deleted a curly brace or something, uh, just go back and double check that everything is correct and make sure that you renamed all of your um, project files here for these functions. Make sure they have the same name as what you called your component. All right. So now we can go into our character, or wherever you guys want to put your timer. I'm just putting them in the character. And we will add a component. We will look for Earth Time. I'm going to get rid of all this other stuff we had. And we'll just drag out Earth Time here. And we'll say call Earth Genesis. And we'll look for begin play. And we'll hook that up. And I'm going to give this a rate of about 500, just so it's not crawling. And we can right click here, promote to variable. And we can call this our start date. We'll hit compile. And you guys can see under this little caret, we we'll have all the options available to us. So we can put this at the year 3000 or something. And July 17th. We'll hit Compile and Save. And we should also print stuff. Sorry, from Earth Time. If we say Get World Clock and Get World Date. And then we will just print both of these. Off of tick. Hit compile and save. We'll hit play. And you see we're starting on July 17th of the year 3000 at 12 in the morning. And that should be all, guys. Um, you can play around with the dates. I think I covered all of the little nuances of the calendar, leap years, and things like that in the different months. But if you guys find something that's an error, don't hesitate to let me know. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this and it makes things a little bit easier for you. And stay tuned for more tutorials. All right, see you guys later.